new on the paper. First thing. Let's read those directions together. Jeremy had seven big rocks and eight little rocks in his pocket. How many rocks does Jeremy have? Well, let's circle those important numbers so we know what we're dealing with here. Number one, circle all student work that correctly matches the story. Okay, let's look at A. Let's see if this matches the story. It says 7 plus 8 equals 15. Well, the 7 plus 8 we know is right because 7 big rocks and 8 little rocks. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's the 7 big rocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 little rocks. And then, so that's right and that's right. And then, this made a 10 and 5 more, so that's 15. So yeah, that looks right. How about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 little rocks. No big rocks. 7 big rocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 little rocks. Oh, look what he did. He took these 5 and these 5 to make the 10. And then there were 2 and 3 left over to make 5 extra. 10 and 5 makes 15. Yeah, that works too. How about this one? 7 plus 8 equals 15. Well, yikes, look at this. I see 10 in there. And then I see 8 over here. So I already know, like, this is not matching up. I'm not going to circle that one. Let's go over here. 7 plus 8 equals 15. He did broke the 8 into 3 and 5. This made a friendly 10 and 5 makes 15. That looks good. Um, oh, look at this one. 7 plus 8. Instead of breaking apart the 8, this one broke apart the 7. Made a 2 to go with the 8 to make a friendly 10, plus the 5 to make 2 and 5 for 7. Makes 15. Sure does. Look at this one. Here's the 7 and the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's the 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then he boxed in a 10 to show 10 plus 5 extras. 10 and 5 make 15 just like, so 7 and 8 make 15. So that works too. Interesting. All right, number two. Fix the work that was incorrect by making a new drawing in the space below with the matching number sentence. So we have to fix this one. This is wrong, we have to make it right. All right, let's do that by first fixing the drawing. So let's do our seven. Six, seven. So I think he wanted 7 over here and 8 over here. So let's put 8 over here. Now he wanted to make this a 10. He just didn't go about it the right way. So what could he do with these eight to help this be a 10? 
Well, he can move these three over here, right? So this could be 7 plus 8 equals 15. Or the 10 plus way, so he did 10 plus 5 equals 15. There. That fixed it. Alright, let's turn it over to the other side and read it. Solve on your own. Show your thinking by drawing or writing. Write a statement to answer the question. That means you're going to have to write out a sentence with the answer in it. Okay, number three. There are four vanilla cupcakes and eight chocolate cupcakes for the party. How many cupcakes were made for the party? Okay, important information. I see a four and an eight. Four are vanilla, eight are chocolate. So what if I just wrote this out? Four plus eight equals. I'm gonna put a square here because I don't know the answer yet. Maybe I'll draw it out. One, two, three, four. Vanilla. I'll put a V for vanilla. And I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for chocolate. I'll put CH for the ch sound. This helps me see that I need two more to make that a full 10. So I'm going to circle two from over here to help this be a 10. So now I can see that there's 10 and two more. So 4 plus 8 must equal 12. Now remember it says to write a statement to answer the question. So I'm going to write, there are 12 cupcakes. Statement tells you how many and what. How many of what you have. So, there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, R, A-R-E, A-R-E, that spells R, that spells R. There are... 12 cupcakes. Now, cupcakes was written up here for you. So I just have to copy it. Period. You're still not done with this part, you can pause it. Okay, but I'm moving on to number four. Here, here we go. There are five girls and seven boys on the playground. How many students are on the playground? Okay, I'm gonna help you get started, but you're gonna do this one on your own. There's five girls, seven boys, okay. Go ahead and you decide how you want to solve this. You can use a picture, you can use number bonds, you figure it out, but don't forget your statement at the end. It should tell me how many students are on the playground. Okay? When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you need more time, you put it in the to be finished tray. Okay? 